Hi, good day everyone. Uh, this is a demo for A2Learn's website platform. Uh, there's a, another video uh, that was done on the A2Learn's overview, so I would encourage you to watch that video first. But uh, just a little uh, summary of A2Learn's. Uh, what is A2Learn's uh, and how does it work? So A2Learn's is a freelance website uh, platform that allows employer or um, or businesses to post jobs and freelancer or consultant to bid on projects and or jobs in Africa. Uh, we are launching this uh, specifically in Nigeria first. Uh, so that's just a little summary about the A to last. So this is where freelancer comes and look for job and employer comes in and post job. This is a perfect um, place for uh, somebody looking for a temporary job, uh, consulting job, consulting gig, and trying to get um, you know job quickly into your pocket. And this is another great opportunity for employer, businesses, startup, small, medium, SME, to come to the platform quickly, post a temporary job. Temporary job could be one day job, could be one uh, hour job, it doesn't matter. Uh, the goal is to help businesses get their job done quickly by searching for the best talent, match the best talent to do the job. Uh, the platform itself, you can leverage the platform to do pretty much anything you want. Uh, post professional job, it, it we support all kind of job, uh, all kind of professional job, uh, ranging from technical job to businesses, sales, customer service, uh, graphic job, graphic design, um, you know, teaching teachers. Uh, name it. So it is a platform, uh, it's an online platform that businesses can come uh, and talented, skillful freelancer can come in and look for a job. So just a summary, employer can post jobs, uh, freelancer can beat on the job, they can chat, communicate, uh, the, the job get funded uh, as a protection for freelancer to make sure that you will get paid at the end of the job. And then the employer make sure uh, also have confidence that the job that they funded will be paid uh, and it will be completed to their satisfaction and then they will release the, pay, the payment. All right, so let's go into the demo. Uh, I'm gonna go to different level of demo. Uh, so first, uh, how do you sign up, uh, you log in to, uh, first you browse into a uh, website domain, www.a2last.com, that is the website. Uh, so once you, once you are on the website, the main website, uh, you can navigate to our land, you can read about us, you can read the FAQ. Uh, if you already have a, a login, sign up, I mean sign up, you can log in directly. If you haven't, click on the sign up page and click sign up uh, as an employer. Put your information in there, uh, your password. Uh, the same thing with uh, freelancer, you, log, you can sign up as a freelancer. So uh, we already signed up. Uh, as an employer. So I'm going to do the demo first as an employer to post a job. So sign up as an employer and then sign up as a freelancer. So uh, I already signed up, so I don't need to sign up. So I will just log in. Uh, just if you haven't signed up, just click on sign up. Log in and put in your credential. You can log in with Facebook or Google. You can also sign up with Facebook or Google. So once you sign up, uh, I mean, sorry, once you log in, uh, you're gonna be, uh, 
you can manage your profile you can click here you can update your profile once you sign up you will get a uh, an email confirmation that you sign up and then you have to confirm your email uh you have to confirm to your email address once you sign up uh so once you you can edit your profile you can you can uh, put your profile descriptions in there you can uh, if you wanted to post a job so you go to the project click on post a project so for the sake of a demo we're just going to post something so let's say i'm looking for a graphic design this is just a demo purpose but you can put different categories uh, Title of the job, be more descriptive about the title of the job. And give the description. Uh, I would recommend give full description detail. So this is just a demo so I won't go more detail to save time but you can be more descriptive about what you're posting uh, so that the freelancer can have better description uh, about what you are requesting so more details about the job is very important upload files uh, if you have your job description in a file or you have other pictures that you wanted to send to uh, your freelancer the freelancer to take a look uh, like for example like uh, pictures of designs that you want sample of the design layout skills and put uh, the skill set set your budget um, set your budget uh, you can choose the country uh, it's optional so here since we are in Nigeria, we'll put Nigeria milestone. Milestone is a very good for deliverables. So you can set a milestone of when or how do you want the job to be executed. So for example, you can set different milestones. You have up to six milestones to put. So for example, you can say flex milestone, uh, sample design, And you can add another milestone uh, if you and then so this is just a demo so you can be more elaborate about your milestone so once you click on the submit button uh, the summit project the project is ready to be uh, beat on so click submit and you will also get an email notification that your job is being submitted so you can uh, and you can get another notification here telling you that the job is all your notification will show up here uh, also you will get an email notification an email on your email box so this is how your job description will look like so and if you see any bidding, you will see a bid. Uh, you know, there will be a bid of uh, freelancer. You can archive the job. So let's say you wanted to make uh, a modification to the job. You can archive the job and edit. So the way to it. So right now the job is being active. Meaning like this job is ready for a freelancer to bid on. So. I'm gonna go into another Windows and log in as a freelancer. So let's say I already signed up as a freelancer. If I'm a freelancer, I can find a job and you will see immediately 
the job is already available for post uh, for bidding so I can click on it and I can look at the job descriptions and I can browse and can see if the job fits my description I can bid uh, you have to log into bid so let me bid on this job it's gonna ask me to log in and I'm gonna log in so once I log in, it will ask me to beat. So I click on the beat. So before we go into uh, the bidding, so once you bid the job, this job is active. Once the job is active, that means the job is ready for for freelancer to be bid, to bid on. You can archive the job. Uh, so for example, I can. So in if you wanted to make if you wanted to edit the job after the job is being submitted uh, that shows active status you can archive it it's not a good way if the job already has a freelancer bidding but you know let's say you have you made a mistake or something happens but you can quickly archive the job uh, before you make the job active so archive means you don't want the job to be live yet but I want to put it in active. So I put it in active and it says, are you sure you wanted to confirm this job is already, uh, that you wanted to act, archive this job? Uh, so once the job has been archived, you can renew or permanently delete the job, meaning like you can edit it or you can re you can um, delete it. In case uh, you renew the job, you have to make the payment. So let's confirm. And we just gonna do renew, meaning renew means I wanted to renew the job, meaning I wanted to make the job. Uh, I wanted to edit the job. So here I can edit the job. I can say, uh, So once I click on, uh, once I make my um, my update, click submit. So once you click submit again, the job will be will be active again. Um, you know, if you don't want the job to be active, you can archive the job. Like I said, you can archive the job, and the job will not be active. So let's archive the job again and see what happened. Uh, so let me go to this job. And I should get an error. So I get an error that says the job is doesn't exist. So if I go back, and look for the jobs, the, we can see the job is no longer posted on the site. So if I renew the job, and submit the job, and when I refresh, my page as a freelancer now the job is showing up so that is how you manage the job so i would not recommend if the job is already active and then there's a, a, a freelancer bidding on the job and then put the job in active it just shows that you are not prepared and then the freelancer might be torn off that maybe you're not serious about the job but just make sure if you don't want the job to be active archive the job and then the job will stay act, uh, on active uh, and I want to bid on the job so let me bid on the job click on bid and then you set your bid so the bidding is just the amount of so the, the, the amount of bid that you put in is just telling the freelancer that this is the amount that you are committed to do the job and then deliverables tell how long you're going to do the job this is very important um, that you set your deliverables because this is also another factor that the employer is going to look into when they are awarding the contract so take a note or uh, you can hide your note set your set your expectation
You can also put your email. Put your yeah, info. You can be more detailed about your notes. Uh, if you want to ask questions, you can ask questions for the freelancer. I mean, to the employer. You submit the, the beat. Once you submit the beat, you can cancel your beat uh, anytime you want. Uh, as a freelancer, you can cancel your beat. That means you withdraw out of the beat. Uh, there is opportunity for you to cancel your job. I mean, you're beating. So once you beat as a free uh, employer, once I refresh, I should see that someone has beat, and I can look at the profile. And this is why we said we should. Have, you should. Uh, this is a demo sake. So, uh, but as a freelancer, you should be more detailed to explain um, your job. I mean, your past profile. Your portfolio, your work history. So this gives confidence in the employer to make sure that you know use the picture logo uh, because this is a demo purpose. Uh, but use a picture on your profile. Be more detailed about your job descriptions and elaborate. Uh, so employer can also invite. A freelancer to beat on the job so you can invite them to beat since they already beat you don't need to invite them to join uh, because they already see the job or you can invite a freelancer to beat on your job uh, if you go to their profile so this is a good way of uh, uh, posting for a job and also as a freelancer bidding for a job so you can watch your job um, uh, information you can see the status so if you wanted to award a contract to uh, to a freelancer so you go to your all project posted so click on the the job that you wanted to award so before you award uh, accept the bid you have to make sure that you have fund in your ex, uh, in your credit system, I mean, you have, you have a credit. You have funded. You have money in the credit. So, how do you fund your credit? So, you go into uh, my credit. Click on my credit, and you see the available credit. So, if you don't have enough credit, you will not be able to fund the job. Meaning, like the job will not start. Uh, you can deposit. Uh, meaning you can buy credit. How do you buy credit? You can buy credit uh, just in a profit package or you can specify a deposit, specific amount. Uh, next, you can select. So right now, uh, we do cash uh, transfer uh, to uh, our bank account uh, as a payment method. So you transfer the money, so you select this. And then you see the descriptions on how to make the payment. Uh, you go to it and you read how to transfer the money. Uh, you can pay to uh, uh, pay stack. You can put your names and you can put. And once you make a payment, once you transfer the money, uh, so. On the payment process, um, your payment has been received and the process is now being run. So you will get an email that your payment successfully complete, but that doesn't guarantee that the payment is available. So uh, the system has to confirm that you have surely made the payment. So if you click on click here, and go to transaction so you will see the money has not been deposited into your account so you go to transaction you see the payment has been pending mm -hmm. so pending means there is verification that uh someone uh, the accounting system will check to make sure so when you making a payment 
just make sure that you specify your name, your email, or your username uh, for ELAS and specify it's to e a to last so that they know or you take a receipt uh, or screenshot of your payment so that you can submit uh, as a proof uh, by email uh, or by contacting us but to reduce all that uh, verification just specify your name and your, your username your email uh, and the purpose of the payment so that we can verify uh, you can check your credit status to make sure if it's been approved you can also contact uh, contact directly uh, if you have any questions so this is how you fund your this is how you fund your your account so once you fund the account now you can accept the beat uh, you go to the project and you click on that project and you accept the bid once you accept the bid that means the freelancer will have the opportunity to start working on the project so let's click on accept the bid and it will just gonna confirm that you have enough credit so if you look it tells you you have uh, a credit balance of eight thousand and eight hundred and eighty naira and it tells you how much so if you don't have enough credit you will not be able to accept this bid so the bid will just be there and the freelancer will be wondering if you know when the job will start so it's always important that you find your job before you accept any bid so cancel uh you know this is just a demo but just that's how you accept the bid uh so as a freelancer you can Constantly look at your proof, uh, the job status to make sure if you get awarded the the uh, if you awarded the contract. So you can cancel your bid anytime. Uh, you can cancel if you don't want to get bid uh, on on a project. Uh, so let's go into how do you start a project. So let's say we accept this bid. accept the bid and you're just gonna check to make sure your balance is and then once you accept the bid it will say it's the payment successfully completed meaning like the payment the fund as that means the project has been funded so that five thousand is ready and it's been funded so now if you wanted to start the job you start to move now meaning I want the job to come to start so click on move now and then the job status change to processing. So now as a freelancer, if I refresh my page, I should get a different uh, status saying processing, and I will get a notification and email that my bid has been accepted, congratulations. Now I can go to the workspace. So what is the workspace? Workspace allows you to communicate with the uh, employer so you click on the workspace you can send you can communicate once you set the communication if I refresh so all these also you also will receive an email as well uh, so you don't miss anything so just thank you so now I get uh, as an employee I get the notification it says so this is how you communicate uh, we can share files you can upload files uh, you can upload files uh, so this is the way if you as a freelancer and employer if you wanted to make sure that things are being transparent communication is the key so you can communicate you can set expectations and you can you can uh, make sure that the freelancer is on the right track uh, 
try as much as possible to use the communication channel uh, this is how we can track your communication with the uh, freelancer or employer in case there's a dispute we don't recommend that uh, to always file for disputes but we're trying to uh, we want the platform to take care of itself use the platform to your best advantage uh, do as much as you want uh, by leveraging the, uh, the the platform there's so many tools uh, that I can cover in this tutorial or demo I can can do another demo to go deeper into the managing the project close the project I won't recommend to close the project when the project is already in progress but there will be a reason where you don't want um, to start the job again but you know it has to be a reason why you wanted to close the project uh, but it's not advisable to close the project when the project is already uh, started so as a freelancer uh, you will not get paid so if you go to how do you manage your credit see your money as a freelancer so you go to my credit and then you will see all the credit that you have so credit is the amount of money that you can uh, that is currently being awarded to you project in terms of project working project available credit that you have that you can uh, that you can withdraw uh, total uh, withdraw so this is the amount of money that you've been withdraw so to withdraw uh, make sure you put your bank account information here so that you can uh, the system will know where to put your money uh, transfer your money you can issue a withdrawal you can specify how much you wanted to withdraw bank you know I'm just using a generic name this is just a demo then you specify the amount Oh, I don't need to put that. So once you once you uh, put your amount withdraw, uh, it will tell you this is available credit you can withdraw. So if you look at your transaction, you see all the spending. So the pending meaning that these are the uh, the the payment that you. So for example, uh, for project, you will see details about the project uh, that you can click so this is the project we just beat so if I click on this project uh, details it will give me details about the job the job is still in progress and processing so that means this job is still gonna be pending until the freelance uh, employer mark the job complete and the same thing as the withdrawal the withdrawal uh, the system has to process they withdraw it usually takes you know one to two two business days depending on the, the uh, bank and system so five thousand is still pending and once I the employer match the job completed so if I come you know And this is the deliverables. Uh, you can mark the deliverable as close. So that means all these deliverables are satisfied. Um, you know, everything is all safe. It's all close that this deliverable has been closed. It's good, it's a best practice. Uh, and then mark the job finish. And you can give rating. It's always good to give ratings. This is how you rate um, the, you know, poor, bad, uh, poor, nice, good, ex, you know, gorgeous. Um, you know, it's it's a good way of 
giving review. So we want the review system to help employer and the freelancer to do a good job and then the employer to pick the best candidates. Finish. So once you click finish. So if we go back to the credit system and you will see the money has already been deducted from our account. And then if you look, you see that the money has been with has been before it was pending. Now the money has been released. So if we refresh, if you refresh the freelancer uh, page on the credit, you see the money has been completed. And now if we go to the balance, you see we have the balance of six thousand. Before it was like one thousand and something, and then this is available to the withdraw. So thank you. Uh, so this is the demo. Uh, it's there's more to it, but you can go through the FAQ page. Uh, you can read more about the website. Uh, frequently asked questions. Everything is all details uh, in the FAQ. How to post job. How to. So this is the end of the demo. I wish that this. Um, demo will be sufficient enough for you to be able to uh, start posting jobs and start bidding for jobs. Uh, so thank you everyone. Uh, give us a feedback on the platform. Uh, how do you like the platform? So uh, thank you everyone and have a nice day.